Greetings to all of you in the American School of Quito community. I hope this message finds you and your family doing well. It is my pleasure to provide you with this update. Before I begin, I'd like to thank the students, parents, staff, and school board for their ongoing support during my first year as Director General. It has truly been my pleasure to watch this community come back together after a long pandemic separation. I look forward to getting to know more of you in person as we move towards more in-person events. There are two agenda items that I'd like to share with you today. First, I'm going to provide you with a brief update on our return to campus and the supporting protocols. I'm also excited to provide you all with an update beyond pandemic-related issues. I'll share an updated version of our strategic plan. As the pandemic stabilizes, I want to communicate to the community the important initiatives we are undertaking as a school. First, I'd like to share some COVID updates. In this graph, we can see data on the COVID cases we've had since January 2022. I'm pleased to report that in recent weeks, we have seen a significant reduction in cases. I'm hopeful that this trend will continue to allow us to continue progressing towards normal activities. That said, it is important to draw your attention to a large spike in cases that we saw during Carnaval. It is important to recognize that we have significant outbreaks that have been connected to social events outside of school. Social events are definitely important for the well-being of our community, but I urge you to continue practicing biosecurity measures outside of school. We all have a role to play in keeping our community safe and our children in school. Thankfully, because of the continued reduction in cases, we find ourselves in the final phase of our progressive return to campus, and I would like to update you on some of the recent changes to our procedures. First, we've received permission from the authorities to reduce our quarantine lengths. These new quarantine periods have been in effect since April 18th. Those that have been exposed to COVID as a direct contact are only required seven days of quarantine and can return to campus after that period as long as they remain symptom free. Those that have tested positive for COVID can now return to campus in seven days after they've tested positive, provided that they can provide a negative PCR test to the medical department. Next, because of these reduced quarantine periods, we are changing the modality we will use to support students in quarantine. Students will no longer be expected to participate synchronously connecting over Zoom. Instead, students will work asynchronously on assignments provided by their teachers. Given these shorter periods of isolation, students at home in quarantine should be able to stay current with their work at their own pace. This will also allow teachers to focus on supporting students who are present in the classroom. Third, we are working to increase the number of in-person events we can open to the community. However, given capacity restrictions, attendance will be limited to parents only. As you may be aware, the government has decided to end the mask mandate for open public spaces. Following this decision, the school will allow students to remove their masks during recess, sports, and extracurricular outdoor activities. However, students will still be required to wear masks inside the school buildings, during passing periods, and on the bus. Now, I'm excited to have the opportunity to address the community regarding our work beyond the pandemic response. Our strategic plan is a five-year roadmap that guides the school in fulfilling its mission, vision, and school values. The current plan was developed by the board and community representatives in 2018. I'll provide an updated version of this plan here. I'll provide a detailed description of the first two projects and an overview of the others. Project number one is academic excellence. The focus comes directly from our mission statement and is particularly important now because we're focusing on serious academic challenges related to pandemic learning loss. Like communities around the world, many of our students have fallen behind. Teachers have been working hard to help students get caught up this year, but it is a multi-year project. It is important to note that we are prioritizing fundamental foundational skills that students will need throughout their career as students. Mathematics and literacy skills will be an area of particular emphasis. We are working hard to ensure that students have positive experiences in school while catching up. However, given the size of the challenge our students are facing, this is not a task that the school can resolve on its own. We need to work in partnership with families between the school and home to make sure that our students have the skills they need to access all future opportunities. Project number two is social emotional well-being. While academics are important, both research and life experience tell us that students need to be emotionally healthy to learn. That is why our second project, equally or more important to the first, is to ensure that all students feel safe, comfortable, and connected at school. 
Specifically, this project aims to ensure that all students have a connection with a trusted adult and that students have peer connections that help them feel that they belong. Ensuring this social integration through deliberate planning, monitoring, and intervention will be central to our work ahead. Project number three, talent management. The goal of this project is to ensure that we attract, develop, and maintain the best possible teachers and staff to support our students. Project number four is telling our story. Communications is an area that we are committed to improving. There are amazing things happening within our school community that needs to be shared. These student achievements, curricular innovations, and the school's commitment to supporting our community need to be shared and celebrated. Project number five is our new campus. Finally, it's important to share that the school, under the guidance of the board, is committed to this new campus project. The goal is to ensure our facilities support the provision of the highest quality education possible for our students. In closing, I'd like to thank you for your ongoing support of the school and our efforts to provide the best possible experience for our students every day. Thank you.